Hey guys, Ian here and welcome to this extra video this week. It being Halloween, I've decided to do what everybody seems to do in the city, and that is carve a pumpkin and put it on a wall. So I grew up in the countryside, halfway up a hill in the middle of nowhere. So trick-or-treating and carving pumpkins wasn't really a thing that I ever did. Now that isn't to say that this is the first time I'm doing this. I actually did one a couple of years ago, during which I found the best tool that I have for carving pumpkins is this. <laughs> this is actually a pair of pliers, so it's not exactly the best pumpkin carving tool in the world. This year, however, I've got a few extra things, namely a bigger knife for doing the bigger carving bits. As well as a bigger knife, I also have these. These are wax and clay working tools I use for wax and clay working. I'm thinking these are going to come in handy for some of the smaller, more detailed areas where I can't get the knife or the pliers into. Failing that, I always have this. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. So I have the right tools for the job this time, so where's the challenge come in? Well, uh, this is my pumpkin. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a pumpkin, it looks like a giant orange lemon. I have no idea how I'm going to do this, so I guess the best thing is to just crack this thing open and see what we're working with. <sighs> now obviously I couldn't go about carving this pumpkin in the normal way as it didn't have a flat base to put it on, so instead I had to put it on its side and create the hole to put the candle in from the back. To do that I made a couple of tabs on the side of it so it didn't just keep dropping out. Once I'd done that I knew how much flesh I had to work with on the inside and I was ready to start carving, but the next problem was trying to get through the skin. And the skin on this pumpkin was really, really thick and tough, and I actually found just trying to slice it off with the knife was never going to happen, it was impossible. And the best way to get it off was to actually get the knife under the skin and break small sections of it away instead. Once I'd cleared enough of the skin away from the surface like that, I was ready to really get going with the carving process. Well, after a few blisters and an entire bowl of pumpkin stuff, we have managed to achieve the impossible and turn this pumpkin into a pumpkin. I'm kind of happy with the result. It worked out all right, I reckon. Definitely an improvement on the last one, and considering the pumpkin we started with, I think that's a hell of an achievement. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to leave a like. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Happy Halloween, and as always, take care, and I'll see you next time.